Alrighty boys, so today, I'll try to beat various Roblox games, but the twist is, I cannot take any damage. Basically, any sort of hits, or anything that takes away my HP, will mean that I failed the challenge. And guys, our first game is called Doors. To summarize the game in simple terms, you journey through the hotel, while opening doors and entering rooms, and try to survive from these hostile entities. And okay, before we play this game, I actually do feel like buying some of these things here. And okay, the reason why I'm buying these items is because I really don't want to like, I really don't want to look through these drawers here because there might be that one spider jump scare. And I'm pretty sure the spider does damage you if it like, jump scares you or something. So yeah, let's just keep opening all these doors and let's just keep going. Huh? Bro, that jump scare was so delayed. I could actually use my block pick, but I feel like using it a little bit later, right? Okay, these lights didn't flicker at all just yet. Oh, now it just flickered. Nice. So as I was progressing through the hotel and going through these dark rooms, the lights kept flickering, kind of trolling me, and then Rush never came. And at the moment, everything was going pretty well. Until this happened. Shoot! Oh my god, I just took damage! Are you kidding me? And screw you, man! Dude, I hate that eye guy so much! Oh my god, bro. So after starting my second run, I encountered this eye guy once again. Thankfully, it wasn't in a line of sight of the door opening. And after finding some key to open some door, I then used one of the lockpicks I found to open another door. And then something unfortunate happened. We have a key right here. Perfect. Really hope nothing pops up now. Oh! Um, I did not know that was a part of the game. Are you kidding me, dude? There's one, two entrances you can go to. But how can you tell if a door's like cursed or something? Okay, I, I don't even know at this point, bro. I don't even know. And okay, one more time, chat. One more time. And also, I feel like I shouldn't buy any sort of items that might be bad luck. So let's just confirm and let's just go. Same thing, not gonna be looking at any sort of drawers because, like, I'm not trying to get, like, uh, spider jump scared or anything. Let's just open the door and go. Oh! That was close. Did a 180 on him. Please get out of my face. Thank you. A few moments later. Okay, I think here's where the chase scene happens. Get out of my face. Yep, here it is. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. If I can recall, this is actually pretty easy to do. Shoot. I can hear him behind me. Okay, now we just have to avoid these hands here. Do not touch the fire as well. Oh my goodness. Get away from me, please. Come on, we gotta get to door 50. Come on, door 50 and then door 100. Come on, this is so easy to do. I'm just bad at the game. We just had to watch out for that guy. Now we just have to look for all these books here. That's it. That's one. I'm not getting inside a locker, I'm good. Yeah, go that way, bro. Nobody's here. Oh my goodness, he almost touched me. Let's get this one here. I know that this is a book. And this one too. Oh, and this one too. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get that one script up there. Give me that. Okay, so we have a star, we have a circle, we just need a diamond and triangle, and I prob they're probably up there. What is this, an alarm clock? What is this for? Give me that. Nice, we need that. Perfect, okay, let's crack the code. Two, six, seven, three, three.
I hate my life, chat. I honestly hate my life so much. <laughs> and boys, our next game is called Guts and Black Powder. To summarize in the most simple terms, you're in a Napoleonic war times, but the twist is, you're against the undead zombie masses. Let's go over to a maybe Cobb objective. I think I played this map like one time my whole life or something. And hopefully don't take any sort of damage whatsoever. Let's go over here to Seaman, because like, I'm trying to be a Seaman. And okay, let's go inside here. Let's just, like grab some supplies. Yeah, so let's grab some of these things here. Grab some firewood. And we're actually pretty slow right now, but let's just go up ahead. Oh, that's Bomber right there. Nice, I just got him. Okay, chat, we're doing pretty good at the moment. So let's just uh, keep bringing these supplies up and running. Nice. I think we need a little bit more supplies, so let's go back and get some. So after gathering supplies and putting them on the wagon, we went inside the building to then destroy a gate with a cannon. And then after gathering some more supplies, we went up ahead and defended the area. And okay, blunderbuss time. Let's get this guy. Let's get you. We should be pretty good here, chat. And I think this is the part where you just defend. You have to keep using the cannon until it breaks. I'm not gonna play too aggressively because I don't want to take- I'm not trying to take any sort of damage. See this guy right here? Blunderbuss time. What's up? I honestly hate those guys so much. They do too much damage. But that's the only way to get hit by them. We're not trying to get hit. Oh! Bro, this guy's in my face! Okay, yeah, let's just keep pushing this thing. Dude, watch out! There's so many of them coming. Let's just keep pushing this thing. I'm just gonna reload right here now. Is there any bombers back here? I don't think so. Figure out a way to destroy the drawbridge mechanism. I don't know what that means. This guy just died. Do we have to destroy, like, throw some bombs up there or something? Okay. So at this point, we got inside. Our goal was to go to the top of the castle, and we also encountered some zombies along the way. And once we reached the top, this guy over here gave us a key. And with that key, my teammates opened some door at the bottom, and now it was time to defend. And okay, time to defend from the undead! <laughs> As this guy's doing that. Where are these guys at though? Let's do that. Well, I should be smart throwing our grenade down here. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's do that. Here, have another grenade. Oh, nice shot. And okay, we're so close to victory. Literally, I can smell it. We just had to not throw and take any sort of, like, unnecessary random damage. Watch out for that bomber there. Oh, that guy fell down! Oh my goodness. I'll shoot all those guys down there. Probably got one of them. Let's just shoot those two. Chat, I just want to beat this game already. Let's get all those guys there. Also, we just had to kill the remaining people. They're all on fire and everything. Let's shoot them. Let's put them out of their misery. Raise the flag at the top of the tower. Chat, this might be it. Oh, I actually survived. Okay, say no more. Okay, wow. Looks like we actually did complete this uh, no damage challenge. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get 69 kills. I got 67. But yeah, Guts and Black Powder is down. We complete this game. And guys, our next game is called Pressure. To summarize in simple terms, this game is inspired by doors, but it has its own unique twist and mechanics to it. And okay, shop. We can actually buy something from a shop just like in doors. I feel that I should buy at least this thing here. Or actually, no, what? Let's not buy anything. Let's kind of challenge ourselves. Let's just go outside here. We can find items on the way there, because I totally forgot one thing. To my knowledge, you actually can't get spider jump scared in this game. Oh, a lantern. Another lantern. Oh my goodness. This game should be pretty straightforward. I don't think we're ever going to take any damage unless we look at that one uh, green guy. And also, we just have to be very smart. Make sure we don't enter the wrong rooms. I keep hearing stuff. Also, did the light just flicker? Oh, yes, it did. Oh, it's coming! Wait, is that guy gonna come back? I don't think so. I think we're good, chat. Let's just go up ahead, try to uh, watch out for this green guy in there. Later that same evening. Yeah, let's just keep going. Lights flickered once more. 
Whoa! I swear, I heard some sort of entity right there. I thought it might be one of those, like, screamer guys that, like, just pop out of nowhere. I'm glad that I... Oh. I thought this was the way, and not here. That is actually so unfortunate. Let me just die. Oh! Okay, do not look at that guy. He might take damage. That was actually really close. Ooh, same exact guy, bro. Freaking green guy, stop. Dude, I swear, these green guys are so annoying. They make you look at you, right? I'm pretty sure you take tons of damage because of that. Oh, same guy, stop. So annoying, bro. And okay, there's a med kit right here, but obviously won't be needing it because like, I'm not trying to take damage. When will the lights flicker? I have no clue. And when will I take damage? Hopefully never. I hear something! Oh! I should have went to that one locker over there. Why am I so afraid? Chat, we're gonna do this thing one more time. One more time. Play again. Yes. One eternity later. Let's speed run this thing. Dude, the lights just flickered. That guy should not be coming back because I don't think it's a yellow one. Found a key card. Flashlight, perfect. It's this guy again. Pretty sure for these guys, you have to stare at them or else he might like jump at you or something. So let's do that. Okay, and when's this guy going to come? He's actually going to come soon. Nice. We need a key card for this. Oh! Okay, um, yeah, watch out for that guy. I think he's actually... Oh! Okay, I was about to say, I think he's actually chill with me. And then I just look at him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, screw you too. Screw all of you. Look, you see this guy? Yeah, that's what happens if you mess with me. That's what happened. Get used to it. Yeah, I can suck at my dick.